I'm gonna be doing some scarfing here, and uh, this is this is the side edge of a front end loader bucket. I was replacing this side here, and then to get the initial bulk off of the the uh, weld or the actual piece itself, it looks like a lot of serrations, and those were purposely done in there. Uh, what I do is I'll start at the one end with the torch, and I just zigzag back and forth to create a wider path than what the torch cut curve allows because the torch cut curve is only very small and so to make it easier I just cut a wider I zigzag back and forth and back and forth and it tends to make it through even the most oddest of shapes like this here now this is not in, uh, warm anymore from uh, torching it and so what I'm going to be doing now is I've got a scarfing tip here it's a bent tip I don't even know what number it is let's see I can't read it looks like a zero I think either way so what I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be washing this off here, and I'll be doing a very similar pattern. I'll have to find out because I really don't know just yet how this is going to react. Right now I've got a fan blowing behind me, so it may be too cool to um, have any real good success, but you'll see as I keep going. I'll keep changing the patterns. Sometimes you can just continue washing off, or sometimes you can wash this way and keep going. So it just really uh, varies upon you know each situation. And so again, this thing is not warm at all. Well, it's a little warm, but not hot to say. So I guess follow along and you'll see how it works. Got the torch already lit, and it's roughly at about the pressures are about seven, and I guess about oh, let me see, about forty or so. I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. It may take a little while to preheat this first little section, but maybe not. We'll see. By no means a pro at any of this because uh, I really don't do any scarfing. I'll normally art gouge all this stuff off, but in this case, I don't want to make a bunch of noise. So, here we go.
Okay, so this is not the prettiest right now, but uh, I'll clean all this up and actually I have to run under the pasture so because this is still a little bit thick here. So I'll hang tight while I clean it up. All right, so um, that's about as flat as I could get it with the scarfing tip. So now I got a little bit of high spots here, but that's really not too bad. So it's pretty much flat. You know, so it'd be a nice little cleanup with the grinder, uh, needle scaler maybe even. Either way, I just thought I'd show you guys how to get that done. And, uh, I don't know if I did it right or did it wrong, but like I said, I, I don't do much of this. So. That's the way I did it. Hope you dig it. See you guys.